It's a beautiful day for remote learning, a beautiful day for a lesson. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a studently day in this beauty wood, a studently day for a lesson. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a student just like you. I've always wanted to teach in a classroom with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my student? Hi everyone, welcome back to Miss Nichols' Neighborhood. It's me, your teacher, Miss Nichol, and I'm here with my best remote teacher helper, my sister Kaylee Nichol. Hi. Hi. Today we are learning all about 2D, meaning usually flat, shapes. Ah, this is going to be such a fun lesson and subject. Learning all about shapes today. Specifically, we're learning and reviewing about squares, rectangles, circles, triangles, and hexagons. Ooh, very cool. I originally was just going to give you guys YouTube videos on them, but there was no rectangle video I liked, so making my own, okay? We're going to review all about shapes. Before we look at specific shapes, we have a few words we need to learn. Let's see what those words are. One of the words we need to learn today to better be able to describe and recognize and identify and name shapes is the word size. I know we've used that word before, but let's just get it kind of fresh in our memory by saying size. I'm going to say size, then I'm going to point to you to say size. Ready? Size. Good, one more time. Size. Okay. Sides. Very good. Sides. Sides are the straight lines of a shape. Okay? So as we can see right here on this shape, straight. Okay? There's no wiggle, not a bend in the middle of it. Straight line. So this is one of the sides of this shape. Okay? You see this straight line, this side? Well, then... We see, oh, there's a corner. That means this is a different or new side, okay? So this could be one side right here, a second side, another corner, so another side, third side, another straight line, and another corner. Finally, the fourth side or straight line, okay? So we're going to be looking at how many sides shapes have. By being able to tell how many sides the shape has, you're able to better identify and name that shape. Okay? So sides. The straight lines of a shape. Okay? Let's see our other word we need to have fresh in our head as we describe shape. Another word we need to be comfortable saying is vertices. Ooh, kind of a fun big word there. Vertices. Okay, let's get comfortable saying that word. I'm going to say vertices. I'm going to point to you to say vertices. Ready? Vertices. Sunday. Vertices. Again, vertices. Sunday. Vertices. Very good. Vertices are the corners two sides make. So, a vertice is that corner, that two sides. We just learned about there were two straight lines, two sides meet. Instead of calling it just a corner, though, we call it a vertice. Okay? So if we look again at this same shape we looked at when we were learning about sides, we see right here these sides meet to make a corner. That's one of the vertices of this shape. Okay, then over here, these two lines meet, two sides meet. Another vertice, the second vertice on this shape. Then you look down here, this side and this side meet, there's a third vertice. 
Finally, we can't leave it out. These two sides meet to make the fourth vertice right there. Okay, so vertices, the corner where two sides meet, or the corner that the two sides make. We're calling it vertices. Very important phrase and word to know when describing shapes. Okay, let's get ready. We're going to look at some more shapes. Let's go ahead, look at some shapes. We're going to count how many sides they have or straight lines they have. We're also going to count how many vertices or corners where two sides meet. Okay? We're going to describe and get to know or re-get to know shapes based on sides and vertices. Here is our first shape we're looking at. We're looking at a type of shape called square. Ooh, square. Let's get comfortable saying that, okay? I'm going to say square. Then I'm going to point to you to say square. Ready? Square. Square. One more time. Square. Square. Very good. Here are some examples of squares. Let's go ahead and count how many sides or straight lines a square has, okay? Let's look very closely. Right here, I see a straight line. So that's one side. I'm going to mark and say one right there, one side. Then I see another straight line, another side right there. So that's number two side. Okay, you could do this on your learning package if you need to keep track of it. Then over here, another straight side. Okay, so what number? One, two, three, three. And then finally, oh, those corners stop it. This is its own straight line or another side. So how many sides would that make? We had one, two, three, then one more. Four. Four, yes. A square has four sides. Okay? And another special part of a square, all four sides, maybe you're remembering our height and length measurement lessons we had, um, the four sides of a square are all the same size. Okay? So this is the same length as over here. The sides are the same measurement, the same size. So we might call a square as having four equal, meaning all the same size. Okay? So we found that a square has four sides. Now let's look at the vertices. Okay? Ooh. How many vertices does a square have? Where do two sides meet to make a vertice? Kind of like a corner almost. Do you see one over here, Kaylee? Where's one of the vertices? Uh, mm -hmm. Do you want me to model it first? Yeah. Okay, right here, I see these two sides meet. So right here, this is, oh, didn't draw as I wanted to. This right here is one of our vertices right there vertice right there that kind of corner area okay drawing's a little funky okay where's another vertices or kind of like corner in this shape yeah where's another one Kaylee? uh there. where's number two vertice hmm. it's gonna be right here look this side this side meet right there to make a corner or a vertice right there Two vertices. Oh, cannot write today. Two. Then where's another vertice where the sides meet? How about down here? Those two sides, er, they meet right there. Three vertices. Then do we have any more vertices? I think I see one more. Maybe, hopefully, you're seeing at home, too. Where is it? Yes, right there. 
these two sides meet right there at that vertice. So right there, how many vertices or corners made by two sides meeting does a square have? How many? Four. Four, yeah. So square might be kind of easy to remember. A square has four equal sides, meaning the same size and four vertices. Okay? Okay. Nice job. Hopefully we're kind of getting used to recognizing a square. Let's have even more practice looking for squares in real life. Ooh. Up here, we have kind of a fun picture that's full of other pictures of things you might see in real life, okay? I want to give you quite a bit of think time. Can I be quiet? Give you some quiet think time. I want you to find the square, okay? Which of these pictures or objects has four equal, meaning same size size, with four vertices? I'm going to give you a hint. There's two squares in this picture. Find the two pictures that are actually squares. We're going to give you some quiet think time. Okay, maybe that was enough think time. If not, go ahead and pause us. Keep your answers in your head while we double check it up here. We're looking for the two squares in this picture. Two pictures that have four equal sides and four vertices. Do you see a square in this picture at all, Kaylee? I'll help you out. I'm going to give you the first one, okay? Don't be tricked if a shape is slightly on an angle. Right here, there's one, two, three, four, looking about the same size size, and about four, one, two, three, four vertices. This right here is a square. Yay. Okay. Now that we know this is a square, do you see any other squares in this picture? If that's what you got right, good job. Yes, right there, the waffle is kind of a square shape, okay? Maybe you get a Belgian waffle, might be square. Yep, there's the one, two, three, four, same size size, okay? Now it's a square, right there. Nice job, if those are the squares you found, amazing work, okay? Or maybe you didn't quite get it right this time. That's okay. We're going to have a lot more practice with even more shapes. Here's our next shape we're reviewing. Our next shape is rectangle. Rectangle. I know we've worked on those before, but let's get comfortable saying it, okay? I'm going to say rectangle, so I'm going to point to you to say rectangle. Ready? Rectangle. 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 Good. Again, rectangle. 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 Good. Now, look up here. Here are some examples of rectangles. Yes, even though it might be turned, it's still, they're still both rectangles. Okay? Let's go ahead and see how many sides and vertices a rectangle has. Looking up here at a rectangle, maybe you're already counting it at home, but I see right here a straight line. That means it's a side of the shape. So one side, okay, then over here, that's another straight line, so that's number two sides, then another straight line, so that's another side. How many sides is that? Three. Three. Very good. And then finally, where's the last side, Kaylee? Yeah, right down here, another straight line or side. So how many sides would that make with that one more? Four. Four, yes, that's the fourth side, meaning rectangles have four sides. And you might be like, hey, a square also has four sides. Yes. However, 
what we're learning about rectangles today is that a rectangle, even though it also has four sides like a square, when we identify rectangles, it's when two sides are different lengths, okay? Meaning, if you look at side two and four, those are the same length, the same size, okay? Yeah. But then, sides one and three, are those the same measurement as sides two and four? Mm. No, they're taller. That means it's a different size. That's how we can identify or name this a rectangle, okay? Yeah. So I like to think of a square, the four equal sides, a rectangle, might be stretched out or kind of squished out, okay? It's like a rectangle, it's like you took a square and made it taller or longer. So hopefully that helps you remember. Square, four, same size sides. Rectangle, a pair of different size sides, okay? Now let's see how many vertices or corners where the two sides meet have, okay? Yeah. If we look here, this side, this side come together, right there, that's one vertice right there, that corner area right there. Yeah. Where's another vertice on this rectangle, Kaylee? Yeah. Where is it? Okay. Yeah, it's number two right there. Those two sides meet right there, two vertices. Where's the third one? Yes, right there, three, and where's the last one? Four, nice job. Awesome, so one, two, three, four vertices. And maybe I'll help you at home to count or mark them out so you don't get lost counting, okay, or lose track of what you've already counted. Just an idea. So we're seeing kind of similar to squares, Rectangles also have one, two, three, four vertices. But remember, a rectangle has different size sides, okay? Yes. A rectangle is like a square, but pulled out or pulled up and down. Different size sides. Okay, here's some rectangles we just saw. Let's see if we can find some rectangles in our real life pictures again. Yes. Now it's time to look very carefully at this picture again. But this time, we're looking for rectangles. Just like we learned about. Four sides, but the sides are different sizes. And four vertices. So look very carefully and find the two rectangles in this picture. Two rectangles. We're going to give you some quiet time. Okay, maybe that was enough think time. If not, go ahead and pause us. Okay, let's look. We're looking for rectangles. Hmm, I'm not going to be tricked that they might just be turned a little bit. I think I see a rectangle right here. I know my projector is kind of cutting off that last vertice, but it's there. Look, the welcome mat is a rectangle. One, two, three, four sides but different sizes. So yeah, right there is a rectangle. Nice job. If that's what you said, Jay. Okay, and if you didn't get it, maybe rethink about what a rectangle is. Try to find that second rectangle. Do you want to help us out, Kaylee? Sure. Keep your answer in your head. Where's that second rectangle? Yes, nice job. The ruler is also a rectangle. One, two, three, four sides. But look, the top and bottom sides are longer. They're different sizes than the end sides. So this is definitely a rectangle. Nice job. If that's what you saw, 
and we're staying at home too. Amazing job, okay? Remember, before we move on, square, four same size sides. Rectangle, four sides, but two of them are different sizes. Okay? Awesome job. We're going to learn three more shapes. Okay. Here's our next shape. We are now reviewing all about circle. Yay, I know we're pretty much pro at making circles. We make circles all the time at school, like circle your answer. Draw a circle here, okay? But a little review. Circle. Let's get really comfortable saying circle. I'm going to say circle. Now I'm pointing to you to say circle. Ready? Circle. Cuckoo. Good, one more time. Circle. Circle. Very good. I hope you're saying it along with us, okay? Circle. Let's go ahead and look and see how many sides the circle has. Let's look at it. Are there any straight lines in a circle? I don't see any. It's just round. There's no corners, meaning there's no just straight sides. So are there any sides here to count? No. There's zero sides to a circle. What? I know. Kind of makes it kind of extra special. So since there's zero sides, we're going to write zero sides. It's just a circle. One round circle. No sides. Okay? Since there's no sides, are there any vertices or corners where two sides meet? Uh, no. No, you're right, Kaylee. There's no vertices. If there's no sides, there's no vertices. Okay? So we write again zero vertices. Oh, that one a little funky. Let's try that again. Maybe better. <laughs> You're going to write even nicer at home, I know, though. Zero vertices. Uh, yeah. Kind of a way to help you remember that. You might look at a circle and think, oh, it's kind of close to a zero. Zero sides. Zero vertices. Okay? Another trick just to help us remember that. Okay? Get a good look at circle because we're about to find circles in real life now. Okay. Let's go ahead and look at our kind of Mixed up, real life hidden pictures again. This time, find the two circles. Find the circles. I gave you a hint. There's only two of them. Okay? Look very closely for what real life pictures are actually circles. Okay? Kayla and I are going to give you some think time while you look to try to find the circle shape here. Okay, maybe that was enough same time. If not, go ahead and pause us. Okay, let's look up here. Which of these real life pictures or objects are actually circle shaped? Meaning no sides, no vertices, just round line, round circle. Okay, do you see any circles up here, Kaylee? Yes! That flat 2D soccer ball, yep, right there, that's a circle shape. Very good. We'll go yeah. ahead and do our best to circle it to help remind us. Huh. Circle to circle. That's funny. Okay, one more circle shape out there. Make sure you're thinking about it, where it is at home, checking your answers. Do you see the last circle shape, Kaylee? Oh, right there, that circular waffle. Oh, love to eat. Those Ego waffles that are circular. Very nice. That waffle has zero sides, zero vertices. It's just a circle. Awesome. Nice job. Put circles around our circle shape. Very good. If that's what you were thinking and following along and finding at home, nice job. Let's keep it up for our next two shapes. Okay. 
Let's go ahead. Let's meet. Let's look at our next shape. Triangle. Oh, triangle. I, I think triangles are pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get used to hearing and saying triangle. I'm going to say triangle. And I want to point to you for you to have some practice saying triangle. Ready? Triangle. That's it. Triangle. Again, one more time. Triangle. Triangle. Good, okay? Triangle. Let's go ahead. We see triangle. Don't be tricked out if a triangle is kind of turned differently. Okay? Just putting that out there. As we see, these are actually both triangles. Let's go ahead and find out how many sides, straight lines, are in a triangle. Okay? Make sure you're doing your best to follow along. Count along with us at home, okay? Right here, a straight line. So that means how many? I have a side right there, right? One side. Good. Then I round the corner. There's another straight line. So how many sides is that so far? Two. Nice job. Another corner. And then right there, another straight line or another side. How many sides would that be now? Three. Three. Very good. So how many sides does a triangle have? Three. Yeah. Three sides. One, two, three. Triangles have three sides. Now, these sides don't have to all be the same size, okay? This triangle happens to be pretty much the same size on each side or measurement. But triangles, as long as it only has three sides, usually a triangle. Maybe one side's longer, one side's shorter. If it's only three sides, it's a triangle. Okay? I want you to kind of be aware of that before you do your learning packet. Three sides, any size, is a triangle. Ooh, good. Now let's go ahead and see how many vertices the triangle has. Okay, let's look. Here's this side. This side meets. That's one vertice right there. Good. Do you see another vertice or corner where two sides meet? Yeah, good job. Number two, two vertices. And then where would the last vertice be? Three. Nice job. Very cool. Maybe we're starting to see the pattern. Squares had four sides, four vertices. Rectangles had four sides, four vertices. Circles had zero sides, zero vertices. Triangles have three sides, three vertices. Maybe we see a pattern coming out there. Okay? Very good. Just again, remember, triangle, only three sides, but the sides can be any size. You'll see some triangles pretty interesting sizes and pretty wonky out there, okay? Get and keep triangles fresh in your head as you're about to look for it in our real life pictures. Yeah. Now for our picture, we are going to try to find the triangle. Remember, triangles can be turned different ways. They can have different sizes of sides, okay? So I want you to look very carefully at this picture, best you can. Hopefully you can see it. And do your best, I'm going to give you a hint, to find the two triangles. Okay? We're going to give you some think time while you do your best to find two triangles here. Okay, maybe that was enough think time. If not, go ahead and pause us. Keep your answers or what you're thinking in your head, and let's double check them, okay? Haley, do you see a triangle, a shape that has three sides up here? Oh, she even found the trickier one first. Nice job. Right there. One, two, three sides, three vertices. That's a triangle right there. Kind of holding the game equipment. Nice. 
triangle in real life? Okay, maybe you found that one, maybe not. You have another chance. Find the one other triangle in this picture. You see it, Kaylee? Yes, right there. The kind of exclamation point sign. It is a triangle. One, two, three signs, three vertices. That's a triangle. And if that's what you are thinking and seeing at home, amazing job. Okay, that's fantastic. Yeah. Okay, if not quite sure yet, that's okay. Just keep doing your best to learn and remember these shapes. We're going to come back with just one more shape we're going to learn and review. Okay. Here we are with our last shape. This shape is called a hexagon. Ooh, kind of fun to say. Hexagon. Let's get used to saying that, okay? I'm going to say hexagon. I want to point to you to practice saying hexagon. Ready? Hexagon. Okay. Hexagon. Good. One more time. Hexagon. Okay. Hexagon. Good. Nice job. Wow, I can already see there's a lot of sides to this shape. We're going to do our best. Let's find out how many sides, straight lines, this hexagon has, okay? Looking up here, want to kind of help us out? Got to look very carefully. The corner might not be as noticeable. I see a straight line right there. So that's one side. Then around the corner, here's another straight line. So how many sides would that be? Two. Good. Around the corner, here's another one. How many would that be? Three. Three. Good. Let's keep going around the corner. Another straight line or side. How many is that? Five. Four. Oh, we're not done yet. Oh, another one. What number would that be? Five. Five. Good. And then one more. How many would that be? Six. Six. Whoa. A hexagon has six sides. That's a lot. Ooh. Not, I mean, some shapes do have more sides, but we'll get to that a few grade levels. But yep, a hexagon has six sides. And just like our other shape, even if it's turned or kind of angled differently, if it has six sides, it is still a hexagon, okay? Because look, here's the hexagon, just turned on its side a hexagon. Now let's go ahead and find out how many vertices a hexagon has. Maybe you're already making a guess because squares had four sides, four vertices. Rectangles, four sides, four vertices. Circles, zero sides, zero vertices. Triangles, three sides, three vertices. Maybe you kind of can already tell how many vertices a hexagon has. Let's go ahead and check it out though. Do you, can you point to one of the vertices on the hexagon, Kaylee? Yeah, right over here. That's where these two sides meet. That's one vertice. Where's another one? Let's go right to the next one, right there at the top. Those two sides meet, so that's two. And where's the other one? Yeah, there, three. The next one? Four. Very good. Another one. Where are two sides of me? Five. Good. And then one more. Right there. Six. Oh, that looks kind of silly. A little better. We'll see. You'll do better on your learning package. So how many vertices does a hexagon have? Six. Six. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Nice. Amazing. Six sides, six vertices. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope we're keeping hexagons fresh in our head because we're going to come back and try to find hexagons in real life. Yeah. We're back with our real life pictures. This time you're going to find the hexagon. Another hint there's only two hexagons you have to find. Look yeah. very closely. Try to find the hexagon shaped with six sides. We're going to go ahead and give you some quiet think time.
Okay, maybe that was enough think time. If not, go ahead and pause us. Okay, keep your answers in your head. Let's double check. Kaylee, do you find any hexagons here? Yes, right there, that face of the watch. One, two, three, four, five, six times. That's a hexagon right there. You can see a hexagon on someone's watch. Pretty cool. If that's what you said, keep it up. Okay, where's our last hexagon, Kaylee? Right here. Yes, the cork board, kind of like a, where you put pins into it. Yep, that cork board, even though it's kind of turned, it's still a hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six sides. Nice job. And those were the hexagons you found? Great, great work, okay? If you didn't quite get it, that's okay. Just count the sides very carefully. Okay. And that's the end of our lesson video, everyone. You did a great job. Keep an eye out for shapes in real life, okay? All around you, objects are actually shapes. Maybe you'll find some more squares, rectangles, circles, triangles, hexagons, okay? Keep an eye out. Keep practicing. Just try your best and have a great rest of your remote learning day. Bye, everyone. Take care.